Hi, my name is Natasha Bhatia and I'm a counseling psychologist at Fortis Hospital. The topic for today is self-care. Now, self-care is a very basic concept, but it's something that we often neglect. We do not give it enough importance. And that is why we need to start a conversation around self-care. It's because it's so important nowadays that we include it in our daily lives, in our routine, and give it equal importance as what importance we give to other tasks in our life. Now, um, most of us might be having certain days where we feel extremely exhausted, both physically and mentally. We don't have energy to engage with anyone or engage with any activity. We can't focus on things. We can't pay attention to it. There might, might be days when the smallest task will feel like the biggest difficulty in the world. Now, why does this happen? This probably happens because we are overworked or we are not giving ourselves enough time to rest and recover. And that is exactly where self-care as a concept comes into picture. What is self-care? Self-care is a concept, is an act of engaging with your own self, knowing and acknowledging what your mind and body requires. It is an act of engaging in certain activities that will help you level up your satisfaction with things, your happiness, your overall health, physical and mental. And just in general help you deal with a lot of things that come your way, such as fatigue that life itself brings with it, or deal with situations at hand, or any physical illnesses that might come into your picture. Also, if we engage in self-care, it there is a high possibility that the frequency of physical and mental illnesses that we have decreases over a period of time. And in general, it would lead to a sense and an actual sense of growth and development in you. Now, if we understand that self-care is so important, it's so beneficial, then why exactly don't we give the concept enough importance? Now, everyone might have their own reasons why they don't engage in self-care. But some common ones could be guilt and shame that comes with self-care. A lot of us feel that if we prioritize our needs, ourself, that we are being selfish by not keeping others before us. That is one way to look at it. Another is having a very vague understanding of what self-care is. A lot of us feel that if we engage in occasional meditation sessions or go for retail therapy, that it is self-care. To some extent, yes, it could be, but that's not the definition of self-care at all. Your upbringing could also be one factor that interferes with your self-care. Uh, upbringing in the sense that our grandparents and our parents had a very different understanding. They did not have self-care as a concept back then. And that's how it's been transferred from one generation to another. And that's how probably we were also brought up with the whole sense of no self-care is needed. But that needs to change now. Also, learned behavior could be a factor. We engage with a lot of people on a regular basis. We notice how people reach a certain level without probably taking breaks. And we want to do exactly that. Apart from this, there might be an array of different causes that we can look into and be more reflective about. So these are some things that will prevent you from self-care. But looking out for yourself should be a constant process. It's not something that you have an occasional check-in with. Knowing yourself and investing in your own needs is probably the most empowering thing you can do for yourself. Not only for yourself, but for others around you as well. So, um, having said so, um, self-care as a practice is not automatically going to come into your life. There needs to be some proactive effort from your part. So how can we start engaging in self-care? So the very basic step would be having more frequent check-ins with yourself, knowing and sitting with your body and mind and understanding what the needs are. Maybe taking a step back and evaluating how you are feeling about certain situations in your life. Uh, knowing what self-care means to you specifically and not what it means to others. Uh, keeping you first because no, it's not selfish if you keep yourself first unless of course it's done at the cost of others and knowing what's helpful for you and what isn't and keeping the wasn't extremely away from your life is something that you can start off with.
apart from this uh, self care does not necessarily have to be about being very rigid with a exercise regimen or constantly just engaging in medication or just laying low self care starts at a very basic level if you have a set routine that's self care if you have healthy meals in a day you look after your diet you are having an adequate amount of water hydration is necessary having good amount of sleep uh, throughout the night is one thing so these are some common basic things that you can start off with before you reach a level where you uh, at a higher are at a higher position of self care so you need to first keep yourself and your needs and you need to understand what is it that you need and how you want to go about it so let's try and not postpone self care let's focus on you and what your body is telling you to do so let's all engage in self care and look after ourselves